Hello Pisces. Welcome to your welcome to, to your December 2020. To, to be fair, we recorded all videos in Pisces is the last sign, so this is the twelfth time I'm trying to say the same thing in the beginning, right? Which is just welcome. Um to your December 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Yannack. My guest this month is Kyra Shaw. I'm leaving her contact details in the description box for the twelfth time. <laughs> As just, you know, obviously, you, you are not aware, but to, to ask the questions up. Um, so what we'll do here, we will look into uh, three sections, or we will divide the reading in three areas. So we will look at the uh, overall energy for the month of December 2022 for the sign of the dreamer, which is Pisces. And then we will look, before we then look at your emotional core, see what can go, if there's love coming in, that kind of stuff. Um, and then we look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of December 2022. Now remember, Pisces, you are the 12th sign. You are governed by Neptune. Traditionally, you are governed by Jupiter and Neptune. Neptune is the planet whose only job is to bring emotional awareness, sorry, emotional awareness, <laughs> yes, yes, to, to, um, to bring spiritual awareness to your being. And Jupiter is the first planet that ever formed. So you are both uh, a doer, an artist, and someone who does who sometimes wants to do fake all and just hide, <laughs> right? And because you're the twelfth sign, you're in the twelfth month. This is December, so your energy of being two different people at once might be quite strongly prominent in December simply because you have matching numbers. You are the 12th house, the 12th sign, and we are in the 12th month. And 12 is the numbers 1 and 2, which means 1 and 2 is 3, is the number of progression. So the energy is more about do something rather than nothing. So the dreamer at times will likely have to wait, right? So, like I said, this is just information. Um, Let's have a look what we got for Pisces. Here is your overall energy for the month of December 2022. Okay, okay, so the first card that I pulled was the Life's Purpose card. So it's basically just kind of like saying, have a look at what brings you joy and um, what brings you kind of like your soul to light on a daily basis. Um, don't worry about kind of like the mundane, like day-to-day -day stuff. It's literally just saying, just focus on what brings you joy and what would... <clears throat> ignite your soul on a day-to-day -day basis um i'll say if we come to the end of the new uh, this year when we're going to a new year a lot of people kind of like think right this is the year that i'm going to kind of like do something that i've always wanted to do or change career or um find a new hobby or anything like that and it's just literally saying just focus on what brings your soul just pure joy and nothing else and secondly we've got <clears throat> the reward yourself so um, we've been working incredibly, I say we because I'm in Pisces, sorry. <laughs> Me too. <Yeah. laughs> um, not just us, everyone out there as well. Um, we're working incredibly hard, guys. And, <clears throat> you know, we're quite emotional people. And I feel like we've been giving a lot of that out lately. And it's time for us to kind of like reclaim some of that energy back. Totally. And like just rejuvenate and regenerate ourselves because we do, we are very emotional and we do put that out there quite a lot. And we do wear our hearts on the sleeve and it's, it's time just to kind of like rein that back in and kind of like recenter ourselves and just take a little bit of time out for yeah. us and quite literally reward ourselves. Yeah. And then finally, we've got a new partner and we have, have confidence underneath there as well. So I don't even know how that came out, but have confidence too, guys. How did you get out? Yeah, <laughs> 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 new partner. So um, if my other half is watching this, Please don't worry. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just basically saying that. There if, is... if my other half that I'm still waiting for is watching, get in touch. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's just basically saying that there is somebody out there waiting for you, and there is no mistake that they're on their way. But you might not just be ready for them to come into your life right now. There might be certain like things that you need to deal with in yourself. Um, so, well, don't um, bed mouth it now. I know, yeah. Like, don't bring it down now, for God's sake. <laughs> but basically, he's just saying that there is somebody out there waiting for you and a chance of meeting is no mistake. Yeah. And um, it just for, for just for, for you, um, reading your own sign. It's so 
is always weird. And then finding out that you are Pisces as well, which means fuck's sake. Right? So so now we're both reading each other kind of stuff. Um can be it can be a bit daunting at times oh. because you you know the guys just talk and we're like, okay, thanks. This is right? me. <laughs> <laughs> but I quite like that to be fair. It's quite quite positive. It was and, really and, good. and and um sounds a bit weird, but um I no longer really um uh, oppose having a new beginning so you yeah, know and then now here comes the emotional core <laughs> Let's see if we can actually make that happen <laughs> <laughs> what is important is to understand is and i said that in, in sort of in the intro that we are the sign of the dreamer and that jupiter is the happy-go-lucky planet but jupiter also expands whatever it touches what that means is that uh, if this year brought up old pain if this year brought up something that needs to be resolved it can sit heavily inside Pisceans and so you have what is called a narrow pathway so the guides are saying is right why you can look forward to stuff it means you know the new partner partner and all these things it means that that the energy is manifesting it's coming if that makes sense so there's a good way uh, but but we have to tread carefully so the point is to not make decisions for decisions sake yeah. if that makes yeah. sense right just go with it bloody hell my cat just farted <laughs> i don't know if you can smell it Pow. <laughs> lucky you there's no smell vision fucking hell sorry for swearing Pow. <laughs> <laughs> did you mean to smell it no you... <laughs> <coughs> you just did it right in front of me <coughs> left the room now. anyway where are we <laughs> yeah um <laughs> that, that's the end of that's that's the last video Thomas ever made. <laughs> so all the guys are saying is regards to to the emotions for all of you and us Pisceans is is to tread thoughtfully, not carefully, thoughtfully. So if there are things that need to be see what I'm not getting is that we have to do any 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 shadow work. It doesn't no, feel like I'm we have to sit back and do that. stuff. But it's about this is what I'm getting here with regards to our emotions. There are still topics that need to be explored or maybe talked about if to me the way they show it to me is like i'm sitting you down now because that hasn't been quite resolved yes that's that's the energy i'm getting um and when they're saying is tread thoughtfully it it means um this is quite surprising because by default me excluded <laughs> we're, we're quite we're quite nice people <laughs> well i mean we're quite soft oh, we, no we can we can be quite soft <laughs> yeah. in how we speak and um and and the thread thoughtfully is is to choose our words wisely when we when we address stuff because there is frustration here in the energy already yes. but again like i said um pisceans we are the sign of the dreamer and if there's anything that affects us emotionally we have the tendency to to battle with these things for quite some time letting go is not a us. gift that Pisceans possess. <laughs> it is one of those things, you know. And and I'm 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 55, right? Um, so and I can tell you from experience that is not something that that will come in time. <laughs> so if you're hoping, oh, don't you, know, worry, I know. you know, it's I'm one of those things. So things. the point is, uh, the interesting thing is, you have a depiction of a desert here, and there is a tree in the desert. Which means, while it feels like you know, um, there's a few things that need to be ironed out, if that makes sense. Um, there's a tree, which means you 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 we tread carefully and thoughtfully. We say our piece in a more kind way. Things things will happen. So it is all positive. It's just that it feels to me that there's still a bit of waiting game happening with regards yeah. to whatever needs to change to come into fruition. And there can be all sorts of things, right? In any way. <laughs> I've very much got um, that we're not probably communicating quite clearly either. We're not yeah. we're not saying exactly how we feel, and I think this yeah. is probably like the time to tell me about it. We're <laughs> 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 quite useless, isn't it? Yeah, we're, we're, just, we're, we're, really here, you know, it's like, we're doing you your readings, and we go like, oh yeah, I know, we're not talking right. It just shows that, it, that, that, that we're human. You know? Exactly, you we're know? not robots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, anyway, now. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving swiftly on, <laughs> let's have a look at the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of December. But because we're the 12th sign and the 12th month, the number of progression 
is in the energy. So energetically speaking, we can only get forward. So that is another thing just to bear that in mind. If you ever feel like you need a bit of momentum, it's coming simply because you're the 12th sign in the 12th house in the 12th months. Right? Here we go. Let's see who, um, <clears throat> actually pull three, but two of them are pretty much the same card. So it, it does pretty much resonate with all Pisces. They are very spiritual cards. We've got the notice of signs and trustworthy guidance. And it's just basically saying like, carry on doing what we do. We are very spiritual people. You know, the world needs more healers and we need to kind of like just practice that healing energy a little bit more if I'm honest um there's a lot of signs out there so you'll probably start to notice after this if you watch this video white feathers coins on the floor things like that they'll start appearing to you quite great like quite a lot and then try further guidance it's like you might be getting like random thoughts messages and stuff but like yeah you're just batting off that you're not thinking that it's anything but it is the messages coming through and because we're quite spiritual people by nature being Pisces yeah. it's like just notice them and it's guidance that's coming through and just kind of like process it take note of it maybe it might not mean something right away but just maybe like float it down and then a couple of days later you're like oh okay yeah. and it's just basically saying notice the signs it's all trustworthy guidance and then finally unfortunately guys um probably not the best card to have during december but we got um a bit of a lecture about cleanse and detoxify <laughs> so we need to just probably look after ourselves a little bit better we were just talking earlier about how we overindulge on Christmas. Yeah. That's probably the guy saying, you won't. <laughs> you still still look after yourself. Do not put so much Baileys in your hot chocolate. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> not in your morning coffee. Mm. <laughs> but it's just a little side note just to say, maybe don't overdo it this December. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Which we probably will. Before. Yes. You know, they yeah. can only do so much. <laughs> absolutely. And remember, we are we are Pisces. Our our symbol is, is two fish that swim away from one another but are connected. Sometimes we go off the rails and we go off on a tangent and yet we come back. So we, we know that sometimes things are going in different directions and yet the bond remains, if that makes sense. And because we are linked to Pisces the, in shamanism, the symbolism is that fish, if that makes sense, swim north because this is their so-called spawning ground. But in order to get there, we have to swim upstream. It is in our nature to deal with more difficult things in life that a lot of signs don't have to even conquer. Right? So I'm not asking you to feel sorry for us. I mean, you're Pisces too. And it's not what, what this is about. But understanding that when it comes to proper work and proper things to learn as we go through our lifetimes, Pisces agree to, yeah, bring it on. We can deal with it. We can deal with it. So there's this part of us that was too loud before we came here. <laughs> right? all, all that means is, is understanding that um, because there is this energy of moving away and then coming back, it's understanding once your core works, once you do what you feel you came here to do, once you feel, you know, I, I make a change, um, my work matters if that makes sense you know i know i can help people uh, or beings if that makes sense it is important for us to, yeah. um, um to, to, help. To, to help it is it is an imprint that we have yeah. right um so the point is what i'm getting here as well is is if if you feel maybe i should look into my spirituality which is the sign of pisces so if you are pisces and you and you know you know spirituality really means a lot somehow i'm not getting going well then now is the time to, to plan. Maybe you can start a course in January. Maybe you can join a, a, a development class. Maybe you, you, you learn a modality, right? If that makes sense. Ultimately, we need more healers. And when it comes to healers, Pisces, because we feel everything, if that makes sense, we also feel empathy. And it's called the concept of the wounded healer, right? You go through shit. You can recognize when other people are, go, are, are, are in it and you can help, right? In any case, I have no idea what that ending is. It has to do with anything, right? Nice um, I only work here. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, ultimately, it's all good. And, and yeah, and good we wish you a, a Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas. Whatever you celebrate, celebrate. If you don't celebrate, celebrate something else. Celebrate yourself. The point is, enjoy the festive season. It doesn't need a reason. Does that sound? That, yeah, that's that really good. That's really good. Right? So in any case, um, 
do yourself a favor and be good to yourself. Right? And um, and then we see you in the new year. All right? Um, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.